The Gate News at 530. Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. In the Virginia General Assembly, a breakthrough on a bill requiring paid family and medical leave. But Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco found out the celebration may be short lived. That's right, but even if this bill does not pass this session in a politically divided government, it's likely to be a big talker on the campaign trail when members of the General Assembly are fighting for re-election this fall. When Abby Conley had her first baby, she took unpaid time off from her job as an aquarium vet tech. Then medical complications extended her break unexpectedly, and her husband, also without paid family leave, was forced to head back to work. Trying to figure out what we could do to move money around, so that was really stressful. I know my husband was really stressed, being feeling that pull between work and helping me, helping the baby. Without that safety net, she says her new family faced mounting credit card debt, and she was forced to change career paths after leaving the workforce. And I could have been back at my original successful full-time job if I could have just had some support to get through that rough time. A bill up for debate in the General Assembly would create a universal paid family and medical leave program impacting virtually all Virginia workers, says Senator Jennifer Boisco. Much like unemployment insurance, she says employers and employees would pay into a statewide fund every paycheck. $2.89 a week about the cost of a cup of coffee. This program is a win-win for workers and business owners. Boisco says that would allow eligible workers to get paid up to 80% of their salary during up to 12 weeks of leave. The bill passed in the Democrat-led state Senate after getting shot down for several years, but it still faces a bumpy road in the Republican-led House. It generally hurts the smaller businesses that they're trying to force something on them. Rather than a mandate, Delegate Kathy Byron says a new law is creating a private option for family leave insurance in Virginia. I think we need to give the private insurance an opportunity to work. And since that law took effect last summer, I'm told just one company has been granted authority to sell family leave insurance in Virginia, and they actually just received state approval today. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jackie DeFusco.